This programme is the Porsche Club Championship Classic Resto Racing Competition. And welcome to Donington Park, the place host to the opening rounds of the 2019 Classic Resto Racing Championship. Behind me is a grid of cars uh, with retro-inspired Porsche racing liveries adorning them and for the most part being piloted by relative newcomers to motor racing. They've got two races ahead of them today in glorious springtime sunshine on the Donington Park National Circuit, so let's get straight into the action. I'm delighted to have you here as part of the opening round of the championship and it's one of the most iconically liveried cars on the grid, I think, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. I mean, when uh, when we come with the idea last year of, of painting it that colour, everyone was a bit, you know, but it's pink, it's pink. But as soon as all the livery got put on it and that, we were all, it was like a Marmite thing and everyone switched and everyone loves it. So it's great to be driving it. I can see you've got the team hard at work, giving it a, a polish and a buff before the first race. Is that as a result of qualifying, maybe? Uh, yeah, I think I caught one of the, uh, the track limits marker posts just on the way down into Cascades, but no harm done. But yeah, we had a good qualifying session, car feels okay. Mate, we come here a couple of weeks ago to do a bit of testing. Um, the car just seemed to get the, the settings that we had. I, I think it's because it's a bit warmer today as well, so we'll have a little play and a little fiddle and hopefully we can go a little bit quicker in race one. Well, I'm with uh, John Toldoff now, one of many drivers making their first steps into uh, motor racing here this weekend at Doddington Park, which is sort of what this championship is is designed for, isn't it, John? Are you excited for this? Yeah, I'm, I'm really mad for it. I've uh and uh, can't wait to start racing <laughs> It's a beautiful looking grid as well, isn't it? And a beautiful car as well. Just talk to us a little bit about the car uh, and the livery as well. Well, we, uh, we were on the car last year, but unfortunately we had uh, an accident in it at the last round at Brands Hatch. So the car's been reshelled over the winter. And uh, while we were reshelling it, we decided to change the livery as well. So we've gone from a Jägermeister to Warsteimer. And you're slap bang in the middle of it for race one, eighth on the grid. Happy with the top ten in the first qualifying session? Uh, yeah, delighted. I, I, um, I've, only, I've, I've not done many laps in the car at all. And yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with P8. And to only be, what, three and a half, four seconds off uh, Ben on pole, I, I, it's exceeded my expectations, really. Uh, well, another driver making their debut uh, into motor racing here today at Donington Park is Ashley White. And Ashley, you're inside the top ten in your first qualifying session. Not bad. Yeah, I'd, uh, I'd set myself a target of tenth. Um, so to finish... So to qualify 10th, sorry, I'm really pleased with that. I've got some quick drivers in front, so hopefully I can uh, tag onto the back of one of them and, and uh, try and move up some places in the race. Tell us a little bit more about yourself and your story and what brings you to the Classic Resto Racing Championship. Um, the competition was uh, announced at the beginning of last year um, and we went straight into the service manager and asked him if we could do the competition. Uh, and he said, yeah, that's not a problem. So uh, I missed out on uh, driving by one point because we went on a driver assessment last year. So um, I've been given the opportunity this year to, to split the driving with Wayne from last year. It's not a huge surprise to see you on the pole position, but with this 30 kilo uh, weight penalty you're carrying for this season, were you surprised with how well qualifying went? Um, yes, actually, because I was expecting everyone to be, well, they are a lot closer, to be honest with you, they're a lot closer. Last year, was the car was much more of a standard road car, so I'm quite used to throwing that around with my job. And I think most people are a little bit uh, afraid of it rolling around. But now the cars are, are much uh, closer to the ground, much stiffer suspension. They handle like a proper race car. So I was definitely expecting everyone to get closer. Well, I'm with Stephen Shaw now then. Stephen, you've qualified just outside the top 10. I'd imagine that top 10 is the target now, isn't it? Yes, it is. This is the first time I've actually raced. So um, if I can improve on my grid position, I'll be happy with that. Well, we'll certainly spot your car in the pack, won't we? Yeah. It's one of the most iconic liveries out there, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> well, best of luck for it. I hope it all goes well for you. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Thank you.
great to be back for the opening round of the 2019 Classic Resto Racing Championship, our second year. And it's Ben McLaughlin who starts on pole position with the Coca-Cola livery of Ollie Coles alongside Matt Bird and William Heslop on row two, followed by Carl Hazelton and Alistair Nelson. Julian Morris and John Tordoff next up from James Cannon and Ashley White. Row six, Mark McCulloch and Stephen Shaw. The grid completed by Mike Thompson, Mark Duncan and Scott Adams. Red lights on here at Donington Park for race one. Watch Ben McLaughlin in yellow makes a good start. We're on board with Carl Hazelton in fifth place and darting ahead of him was Alistair Nelson. But look round the outside, the pink pig of Will Heslop is challenging for the lead and has got his nose in front, or should say got his snout in front of Ben McLaughlin in the yellow car, followed by Ollie Coles, who's going door to door with Alistair Nelson at the moment. Down through the crane occurs for the first time. Ben McLaughlin, of course, raced with us last year but wasn't in the main championship because he had that much more experience than the other drivers but this year as you heard in the interview with Andy is carrying some ballast which I guess you could call success ballast or experience ballast and he is in the main championship so the other drivers really have got a benchmark and it's McLaughlin who gets back in front of Will Heslop with Ollie Coles in third place then Alistair Nelson followed by Matt Bird I think Matt's the top debut man here in the Premier Panel skill car. And there he is in the 35, running in fifth place at the moment. So a really good start for him and a lovely start to the race as we watch cut from Carl Hazelton's car, the battle between Alistair Nelson and Ollie Coles going down the straight towards the Fogarty S's. But it's Ben McLaughlin in the Porsche Centre Bournemouth car that leads from Will Heslop. Will had a second on the Brands Hatch Grand Prix circuit round last year and was third in the points last year behind Ollie Coles and Josh Morris. So good start. There is Carl Hazelton in the Chester Martini livery and all, all of these liveries are used with permission of the appropriate corporate owners. There's more details on the Porsche Club's website if you want to find out more about who is who and maybe how to get involved in the championship as well. Ollie Cole, look, the back end on Ollie Cole's car comes around out of the old hairpin. Hopefully nobody will collect him. They don't, he's on the grass though, and that's a lot of places lost for the man who finished in the runner-up position in the points last year, the Porsche Centre Swindon car. I think Ollie's recovered, that is absolutely key. And he'll have the opportunity to come and, and hopefully make some sort of recovery through the field, unless he's got a problem with the car but it frees up third position now. So the chase is on for third. Matt Bird on his debut in the Premier Panels skills car. They're based in Farnham and it's a mixture of Porsche centres and the recommended repairers. And we've got three or four of those repairers represented here this weekend. They actually prepare some of the centre cars as well. Alistair Nelson coming under pressure. You have to be mindful of track limits there. There's been a change this year with the removal of the sausage curb which wound everybody up and now it seems that the fact that you can straight line it and get, get a track limits penalty winds everybody up but not seeing any track limits problems at the moment on the timing screen. Alistair Nelson in the Wilmslow car about to come under pressure from Matt Bird who looks down the inside line there going through Hollywood and down into the Craner curves but no, I thought it was going to be a fight back there from Alistair Nelson but Nelson here is still potentially on to equal or better his best result from the fully gridded races last year. A couple of the drivers raced in the non-resto racing rounds. There were three events last year officially for resto racing which had full grids but some of the cars went out and had a race with the full Petro Canada Lubricants Porsche Club Championship with Pirelli at times. Carl Hazelton in the Martini livery car. He was one of those, so he had a little bit of uh, extra track time last year. And who could blame him? And this is uh, it's obviously showing. He was his best run in the full grid of Resto Racing cars last year. He was ninth place on the Grand Prix circuit at Brands Hatch. And that's the aim for many of the drivers. We watched Mark Duncan now being chased by Stephen Shaw. Shaw had a new car, new driver as well to the championship, as you heard again in the interview with Andy. And doing a good job as we go back to Carl Hazelton in fifth position so this is potentially Carl's best full grid result in the offing assuming he stays on 
I'm sure there won't be any preparation problems with any of these cars. So car number 80, that is James Cannon. And following James, the uh, newcomer whom we spoke to, Ashley White in the 46 car, Porsche Centre Nottingham, having his debut and sharing with Wayne Minogue this year and having a look around the outside as they go into the old hairpin. And the 46 car now will have a look along Starkey straight up into Schwantz. Meanwhile, Ollie Coles, that is, recovering well at the moment. So Ollie Coles is back on track. Um, I think we'll be targeting a top 10 after his moment earlier on as we again rejoin Ashley White. Ashley having a decent run of it at the moment, chasing James Cannon inside the top 10. Mike Thompson here chasing the 49 of Stephen Shaw. Stephen doing a good job. As you can see from the insignia on the back of the car, the yellow square with the black cross indicating all three of those drivers, newcomers into racing. But it's Ben McLaughlin who is out front, having improved his laps over first flying lap was obviously he was quickest there improved on laps two and uh, imp improved on laps three and four so making good progress here and he's improved again on lap seven so this battle continues with James Cannon coming under a little bit of pressure again from Ashley White who again looks up the inside line coming up into Schwantz corner and he makes it stick this time so James Cannon is demoted and the Nottingham car makes it up past the Cambridge machine. In behind them is Julian Morris in the Elite Motors number 10. So Julian looks like he's closing up as well. Last year's championship uh, winner incidentally was the Porsche Centre Bolton machine of Josh Morris. who's not here and that car is driven this year by Mike Thompson. It's the second of these two cars, the leader of which is Mark Duncan in the Porsche Centre Glasgow machine. Super battle developing here for second place. Ben McLaughlin in yellow flashes through in lead position. William Heslop still second. And Piston Heads man, Matt Bird, putting him under pressure, taking a nice wide line down the Wheatcroft straight. This is where Heslop was very impressive around the outside on the opening lap, getting his nose in front, you might remember, off the start of the race. And a good race between Heslop and Bird. Ben McLaughlin up ahead of Stephen Shaw. So the race leader will begin to have to pick off a few other cars as the race develops over the 25 minutes. Well, it looks like Heslop might have seen off Bird for the moment. Bird was certainly closer at the end of the straight. Let's have a look at the respective lap times. They're both lapping in the 21s. And Matt Bird is actually on his best lap, slightly quicker than William Heslop. So here they come again, back into second position. Stephen Shaw just ahead of them making the climb up into Coppice Corner. Stephen will be well aware that they are closing in. Surprised not to see any blue flags from the Marshalls post there. But uh, won't cause any, any problems, I'm sure, as we watch Ashley White. Still there in the 46 car. Ben McLaughlin continues on his way, as predicted. Both second and third place cars safely passed Stephen Shaw. And we'll tick off another lap here. As we said, absolutely perfect conditions to kick off the season. Alistair Nelson is in fourth place, followed by Carl Hazelton. So that's close as well. These two, not a huge amount to choose between those at the moment. The fastest man on track, perhaps unsurprisingly, is Ben McLaughlin with a 121.014. Back on lap seven. 87.94 miles per hour and he has, despite the extra ballast, still developed a, a gap over William Heslop and Matt Bird. Carl Hazelton really busy putting pressure at the moment on Alistair Nelson in the Porsche Centre Wilmslow car and I reiterate he's on for a best finish here because at the moment he's running in fourth so Carl Hazelton will, will try and close him down as we 
now see Mark McCulloch, Porsche centre Hatfield, one of the two Martini liveries in the Warsteiner machine of John Tordoff having his racing debut, doing very well, John Tordoff as well, in 10th position, but um, has, has picked up, I was talking about track limits earlier on, and has picked up a warning for track limits, John Tordoff, so, well, it's all part of the learning. Second position closing up once again. William Heslop being put under pressure here by Matt Bird. Now the Premier Panel Skills car was fourth in the points last year, shared by Jamie Woods and Robert Dawling. So there's maybe a little bit of pressure on Matt to deliver. I shouldn't really say that. There's probably no pressure on any of the drivers, really, that, that are new to this class or new to racing as a whole, because the key thing is that they enjoy themselves. Carl Hazelton is at the moment, comes wide here down into red gates you can look on the outside line of Alistair Nelson might flick back to the inside and go for the cutback I don't think he's near enough and I don't think there's room at the moment Alistair Nelson looking relatively comfortable but if he's going to improve on his best of fifth place here he is going to have to earn it because it's big pressure at the moment from Carl Hazelton. Carl himself is on for a a best full grid result as well because his best last year was ninth on Brands Hatch Grand Prix. Still the battle of second position continues. We're seeing so much in this race and when you think about the concept of this wonderful championship which was instigated last year to celebrate 20 years of the 986 Boxster and Matt Berg was looking for the inside line there and challenging hard. Mark Duncan in the Glasgow car up ahead of Mike Thompson being chased down by the leader now. Thompson in the Bolton car which won last year a few technical changes to the cars again as you heard Andy say at the start of the programme William Heslock still maintaining second position lovely race between these two and hats off to Matt Bird for putting big pressure on but it isn't phasing Heslock at the moment into Redgate once again 35 car that glorious livery as uh, we now watch Ollie Coles now Ollie is making good progress after his uh, half gyration at the old hairpin earlier on in the race and as you can see from the graphic he's up into ninth place busy chasing James Cannon Cannon in the uh, Cambridge car so Mark McCulloch, McCulloch and John Tordoff still dice it out John's got a five second penalty added to his time so possibly won't get to finish ahead of McCulloch on the timing screen even if he does on track as we return to the battle for fourth position Alistair Nelson up ahead of Carl Hazelton through Coffice Corner and heading down into the S's once again Ben McLaughlin here will pass Mike Thompson Thompson keeping on the outside line as they go into Redgate so he's through safely Mark Duncan will be the next car to negotiate Mark Duncan running in 11th position in the Glasgow car. Car we saw Derek Stewart racing last year. I think we might see Derek out at Brands Hatch. So McLaughlin is through safe and well. Back to fourth position again. Carl Hazelton in the Porsche Centre Chester machine is closing up on Alistair Nelson. Both of these two fighting for bests in the championship. Last year there were, I was going to say just, there were six races with full grids last year and as we mentioned drivers like Carl Hazelton did race on some of the other rounds so even those who made the debut last year we could call them experienced this year but it was a limited number of races here comes Ben McLaughlin though this has been a, a super drive from Ben we have to look right the way back here to the second duo of cars chasing and still battling for second place I'm wondering whether the Mark Duncan, Mike Thompson battle might potentially phase Will Heslop if he closes up. So he's coming down and into Redgate corner once again. Heslop has just got the edge in the pink pig and holds on. So good second position points in the offing here for Will Heslop. Would have been higher up in the championship last year, but had a retirement in race two at Brands Hatch on the Grand Prix circuit. So that did eat into his points a little bit, but he's showing really good form here and will now go past Mike Thompson, the uh, reigning champion car. Remember, it's the 
centres that score the points and they can share drivers over the course of the season which is a super initiative because you can have part of your workforce racing in the championship I guess you could have customers coming in and racing uh, as well and you might remember last year we had Richard Atwood racing the uh, Formula Mall winner which was uh, an absolute privilege to meet and see him as Ollie Coles continues in, ninth, in uh, eighth position Ollie having made a good recovery the former MG trophy racer so you can see now that William Hesloff has got between the cars of Mark Duncan and Mike Thompson and that's going to give him a little bit of a cushion as they go on to the last lap Matt Bird passing them now on the outside line meanwhile passing John Tordoff John in 10th place in the Gold Warstein delivery the race leader goes past him back to fourth and fifth Alistair Nelson still there from Carl Hazelton at the moment we've got Julian Morris in car 10 that's the elite motors car he's running in sixth place he's on for a best result in the championship as well I haven't seen too much of uh, Julian but hopefully we'll catch up with him in race two as the Premier Panel Skills car goes past the Porsche Centre Glasgow machine of Mark Duncan but here is the race leader Ben McLaughlin it's going to be pole fastest lap as it stands at the moment because everybody's lap times have tailed off a little bit Ben setting his as we said on lap seven William Heslop is in second Carl Hazelton still fifth and chasing fourth place he's not going to give up so comes through McLean's and then you can see the climb uphill into Coppice as we watch the battle for fourth and fifth but through the S's for the last time it's Ben McLaughlin who's going to take the race win with William Heslop in second position still passing on there Mark Duncan and Mike Thompson but a superb race and it's Ben McLaughlin who has taken the win with Will Heslop in second place Matt Bird an excellent third on his debut bests for Alistair Nelson and Carl Hazelton. Julian Morris is next up from James Cannon. So into victory lane. Come Ben McLaughlin, William Heslop and Matt Bird. Let's take a look at the result of race number one. Confirmation that Ben McLaughlin took the win from William Heslop and Matt Bird. Alistair Nelson next from Carl Hazelton and Julian Morris. James Cannon in seventh from Ollie Coles and Mark McCulloch. And it was John Tordoff completing the top 10 from Mark Duncan, Mike Thompson, Stephen Shaw and Scott Adams. non finish for Ashley White. Fastest lap, Ben McLaughlin. Well, Ben McLaughlin, congratulations. The first victory of the year. How were those tyres after 25 minutes? <laughs> they were getting worn out. Yeah, absolutely. They were certainly going off more and more understeer. I was struggling with the brakes a little bit on a number of occasions. I missed a few apexes with that extra weight, as you say, and just the longevity of the race. And it's, what, 20 four or five degrees so it was okay for about five or six laps and then bleh, it started to go off so I had to be quite careful but um, she's here in one piece and the others are much closer than last year which is great it bodes well for the season well William Heslop uh, you stuck your elbows out in that one didn't you but you had to, to hold on to that second place yeah and I was lucky with the back markers also they helped uh, help the situation he was coming he come from a long way back and he all of a sudden caught me so defense defense was on the card and it's the only way in uh, I've I thought I knew where to put the car enough to, to keep him at bay. I knew where he was strong, so I, put the, I think I put the car in the right place and obviously held him off, so I'm happy about that. It did seem like the gap sort of ebbed and flowed over the lap. Which was the part of the circuit where we where you were stronger and where was he stronger? I was heavy understeering into um, Redgate, the first corner, and he seemed to he seemed to drag me off this straight into there. And then the, the final corner before the straight at the back where they're both very understeery anyway, but I seem to be suffering a little bit of the front tyres. I think because I was trying to push to keep with Ben, I think it's work it sort of worked to my disadvantage eventually, because then he started pulling me in and then you have to go defence and obviously that's when you need your grip most when you're defending. But I'm happy with that. I'll take that for the first out in here. So well Matt Bird from third place on the grid and the third step of the podium as well, but that was a very entertaining battle between you and Will. Uh, yeah, I was. I could sense I was catching him a bit, and just kept trying and trying. There was some clear track, nobody behind, but he was. Uh, he was too good. He made a couple of mistakes, but I couldn't quite capitalise. There wasn't. Maybe if I was a touring car racer, there would have been a gap. But when you're racing somebody else's car, then there's not a gap. But it was great fun. You just you kind of learn what he's doing better, maybe what you can do better, and then hopefully we can take that into race two and um, maybe do a bit better. I don't think Ben's being caught any time today, but if we could go one further step up, then then that's good. Well, you say that, but you set exactly the same lap time as Ben. You both have the joint fastest lap from that race. Exactly the same? To the thousandth, yeah. Really? Oh, OK. Well, um, that was probably trying to catch Will. Desperately trying to reel him in and seeing him coming back. So, OK, well, that's um, encouraging for later. Hopefully I can get past. Well, 
uh, Mike Thompson then, driver of the Porsche Centre Bolton uh, number six car in the uh, Resto Racing Championship. Um, your first ever circuit race, you were just telling me. How are you enjoying it so far? Yeah, it's, uh, it's really good. Um, just trying to pick up the best as quick as I can, learn the lines. Um, but yeah, it's exciting stuff. Uh, massive privilege to be here doing it. And yeah, I'm well trying to have some fun while I'm doing it. <laughs> it's a great incentive, this championship, isn't it, as well? And the cars look amazing. And this is a car with a little bit of heritage already, isn't it? It is, yeah. It did win last year, so I have a lot to live up to this time round. But I'm trying my best. <laughs> Realistically, then, what's the sort of target? Are you in for the full season, do you know? Uh, I'm not. I'm doing the first three races, so I'll do Donington here, um, Brands Hatch next time, and then Snetterton, and then Josh, uh, who did win last year with the car, will be uh, covering the last two races at Brands Hatch and um, Alton Park. Ready for our second race of the weekend. Stephen Shaw just getting into line there in the 49 car. Mike Thompson, we just heard from, lines up 14. But let's have a look at the full grid for round two of the 2019 season. It's Ben McLaughlin on pole from Ollie Coles, Will Heslop and Carl Hazelton next up. Then Matt Bird and Alistair Nelson from Julian Morris and John Tordoff in position eight. Ninth is James Cannon from Ashley White, Mark McCulloch and Stephen Shaw, row six from Mark Duncan and Mike Thompson with Scott Adams in the Porsche Centre Cardiff machine completing the grid. Lights are on. Out go the lights. Now it's a good start again by Will Heslop. Very quick off the line. John Tordoff looks pretty rapid too. As they go down into Redgate, Ben McLaughlin will be keen to hold on to the lead this time. Carl Hazelton in the Martini livery to the outside. I think he's going to wind up fifth. Heslop just getting into second. Ollie Coles is there in third, up ahead of Alistair Nelson. Then we've got Matt Bird on the inside line as well. When, you, when they go through turn one, not only are there masses of immaculately prepared cars, but you can see just how many new drivers there are from the yellow square black cross on the back of these machines. And it's absolutely ideal for these people, bringing new guys into racing that won't have done carts, won't have done anything else. And I applaud the initiative of Porsche to do this. Julian Morris in the golf livery looking on the inside line of, I think, Stephen Shaw. He made a decent start, but Ben McLaughlin away at the moment. Ollie Coles, who did drop to 14th in race number one, making good progress in this one, having started on the front row. And this is his opportunity to get the Porsche Centre Swindon season on track, as it were. Get some, some decent points. Not that a top 10 finish wasn't decent points in race number one. So here's Ben McLaughlin coming through. And... He will look in his mirrors and see William Heslop behind him. Ollie Coles go through. Carl Hazelton's had a good start here. So Hazelton side by side. Alistair Nelson and Matt Bird, the Premier Panel Skills car on the outside line. As you heard in the interviews, the various cars being shared by drivers over the course of the season, which is a super initiative. I tell you what, John Tordoff not that far away from this group either. So John Tordoff in the gold livery. Is there as well, and Ashley White up ahead of him. So Ashley's made good progress after his non-finish in race number one. He was the only non-finisher in our opening race of the season, which is testament to the preparation of these cars by the various centres around the country. So Nelson chased by Matt Bird. Julian Morris is there in the number 10. That's the Elite Motors car mentioned in race number one that he did indeed secure his best full race finish in race number one, sixth position, so a new personal best for him and he'll be hoping to again improve on that as the season goes on and so much potential in this championship for drivers to do that and with the likes of Ben McLaughlin in the championship they've got a very good benchmark to gauge themselves against as we ride on board with Carl Hazelton once again Hazelton the Martini Lurie chasing Ollie Coles, Coles in third place, second in pink is William Heslop. Across the line goes Heslop, followed by Coles, Hazelton, then Alistair Nelson and Matt Bird. Second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth place at the moment. A little gap back then in the count there was as much just to see where Ashley White was. So Ashley White up into seventh place, another debut driver. Nottingham car, as we said, will be 
with Wayne Minogue at Brands Hatch. Off the circuit goes Mark McCulloch in the 22. That's the Porsche Centre Hatfield car. Let's hope that Mark can rejoin and uh, maybe start to work his way back up the order. So Ollie Cole's up ahead of Carl Hazelton here. Cole's in third place at the moment. Um, William Heslop getting away from them. On board again with Carl Hazelton chasing. You can see the sun going down. We're getting later into the day. Nice diagnostic shown there on the onboard camera from Carl Hazelton. Things actually closer. When you look outfield, the onboard camera tends to accentuate the gap between the cars and Matt Bird's putting a move here on Carl Hazelton looks to the outside line this was a, a favoured move for him in race number one it didn't come off while he was chasing Will Heslop but he's starting to have a look and Carl Hazelton comes out grabs the racing line that wasn't even defensive was it that's I'm going to take the racing line into Redgate which he did but it leaves the door open now Matt Bird's going to try and have a look on the inside line he's not quite far enough or doesn't have enough momentum to get ahead of the Porsche Centre Chester man who is there but now there's a big gap going into the old hairpin and Matt Bird goes up a position it's very interesting to hear his interview with Andy after race one saying that could have maybe gone for a lunge but he's respecting the car respecting the other drivers as well which is superb and he felt that was a that was obviously a good clean move that he put on there and he's showing good pace and something I admitted to uh, admitted to see in race number one was the fact that he equaled the fastest lap of Ben McLaughlin to the thousandth. So a good spot there by Andy. In terms of the race statistics, Ben gets it for race one because here is Ben McLaughlin because he set it on lap seven and it was equaled by Matt Bird on lap nine, two laps later. So Ben, by being the virtue of the, the first driver to set the uh, lap, goes through. And Ollie Coles is passed now, so up into third place here goes Matt Bird, who's really getting stuck in. So Matt Bird up into third place. Now he's got to try and chase Will Heslop. He'll know that he had the pace from race number one, having said about that joint fastest lap. So down into Redgate they go. And Ollie Cole's not looking happy. There was a wide line there. And through on the inside goes Carl Hazelton. Stephen Shaw. Up ahead of Mark Duncan. Stephen, one of our new drivers in the Shaw Aid prepared car that's the one of the recommended repairers and then the Porsche Centre Glasgow machine 69 car still running well it was 11th place for the Scotsman in uh, race number one so we're looking to try and get into the top 10 here and continue to improve on his debut weekend and Matt Bird has now caught Will Heslop so Matt Bird knows that he's got the pace here in this car that was jointly driven, as we said, to fourth place in the standings last year. Will Heslop was third but had a DNF. There weren't any drop scores last year. And Matt Bird is thinking about looking down the inside line now and hard on the brakes. And Bird goes through. Good move through into second position now. Really got the bit between his teeth. Will Heslop, of course, all of these drivers, I mean, technically, they're not their own cars because they're owned by a centre. Many of them shared. So... There may be a little bit of discretion in the driving uh, from some of the guys, particularly the newcomers, who are feeling their way in motor racing. So it's McLaughlin, Bird, Heslop, Hazelton in fourth place. Mike Thompson gaining ground. They've just got out of shot in the blue Porsche Centre Bolton machine. And a good race on him with Mark Duncan having a look up the inside line. We've got somebody off. And in the gravel, well, that's the second place man, Matt Bird has maybe found the limit and passed it and he's in the gravel but out of the gravel now and on the grass and hopefully will rejoin he, he's uh, almost done an Ollie Coles there but will rejoin and maybe he'll do an Ollie Coles and, and get the 35 car back up into the top 10 by the end of the race there is Ollie Coles in the 39 now coming under pressure from Alistair Nelson so these two having a a good battle as they did right at the very start of our weekend in race number one Ben McLaughlin mirroring the pattern from race one in terms of fastest laps, fastest flying lap, first flying lap, lap two, improved again on laps three, four and five. So Cole Hazelton having a, 
good running this one. It's McLaughlin, Heslop and Hazelton at the moment. And then the battle between these two. Coca-Cola car still out front at the moment. But Alistair Nelson has a look down the inside line. Ollie Coles will see him and they're giving each other room, which is good. Alistair Nelson trying hard in the Porsche Centre Wilmslow machine. There is Mike Thompson, last year's championship winning car, up ahead of Stephen Shaw and Mark Duncan. Those guys having a, a good race of it. Ollie Coles looks like he is slowing. Ollie Coles and off onto the grass and into retirement. That is such a shame. It is not Ollie Coles meeting at all. Into pit lane comes Matt Bird. Now, whether that's retirement or diagnostics remains to be seen. John Tordoff making progress in the 600 car. John, top 10 on his debut. 10th position in race number one. Looking to better that in this one. And a spin for Mark Duncan into the gravel. That's going to be curtains for Mark. Well, he was trying hard and involved in quite a battle. You can see there the futility of, of trying. You've got to try and get out, and any driver is going to do that, but it just doesn't work for you in the gravel. So he's going to be reliant on Marshall Power, a wonderful Marshalls, to get him out of the gravel. I'm wondering if we're going to have a safety car. So we've got a number of cars, and that particular one of uh, Mark Duncan not in a necessarily safe position. There's Mark McCulloch in 22 back with our race leader Ben McLaughlin fastest lap once again you see what I mean about Mark Duncan's car only just off the circuit so not that far into the gravel from that camera shot and I reckon that that will perhaps necessitate the safety car there it is as predicted so the safety car coming out here at Donington Park whilst they recover Mark Duncan's car just a reminder that we've lost Mark and Ollie Cole so far with Matt Bird in the pits. Safety car lights are now out and it's a resumption of battle now. The question is, has Ben McLaughlin taken too much out of his tyres in the early stage of the race? Car number 10 there is Julian Morris and then right behind about to have a go is Ashley White in the 46 car now remember you're not supposed to pass until you get past the start finish line but I tell you what Ben McLaughlin and Will Heslock made a very quick start indeed Carl Hazelton is third and up into fourth now goes Ashley White and indeed up into third place Ashley White on his debut meeting in the championship Carl Hazelton dropping back a little bit maybe having some problems tyres of course are going to be colder on the restart Julian Morris passed there by Mike Thompson and also back out is Matt Bird who would have lost a lap while he was in the pit lane but good to see him back out getting some, some more track time and he'll get involved in a few fights for sure so here is Alistair Nelson in the 21, having had a fight with Ollie Coles earlier on. Ollie's still out of the race, obviously, parked up and on the grass. Not his weekend at all, Ollie Coles. Ollie having eighth position in race one, a retirement in this one, but will do his best to try and bounce back at Brands Hatch GP. It's been a good one for 46, Ashley White, who goes through shot. And here comes James Cannon in the green Cambridge car, equaled his best full grid race, result in race number one with seven. So he's now back to seventh at Brands Hatch GP and here at Donington Park as well. And he's potentially on for maybe a better result here too. As John Tordoff chases Matt Bird. I think realistically, Matt having unlapped himself from John here, looking to try and climb up the order. But he's uh, now running in 12th place. Matt Bird and look at this battle here with Alistair Nelson in the 21 car back up ahead William Heslop goes through this is the battle for third place Ashley White and Alistair Nelson having a, a very good battle of it at the moment and Ashley White takes a, a wide sweeping line there but Alistair Nelson had fourth in race one fighting for a podium in this one 
so he could improve further still. Ashley White had that retirement in race number one, but the car looking good. There is Scott Adams, the Porsche Centre Cardiff machine. Another debut man, Scott Adams, and a good solid 14th drive in his first race and knocking on the door of the top 10 in this one. A big sideways moment, a tank slapper for Ashley White, who is, and the key thing again for these drivers is, you know, you find the limit, and if you just go over it, you know then where the limit is, you get the feel for that. That's what it's all about for Ashley White. He's still running in fourth place. Carl Hazelton trying to come back into the mix here. And dicing with James Cannon. Matt Bird, remember, is a lap down after his visit to the pits, but enjoying his race here. And he's deploying some good race craft. He's got the faster car, so he's perfectly entitled to try and get back onto the lead lap if he can. That would be a big ask, but he uses the outside, uses the inside. James Cannon, good vision from him. They're looking in his mirrors. And uh, Matt has to go on the grass. Oh, a little bit of a gyration again. Probably a bit frustrated with whatever the problems were after that uh, off through the gravel. But after the check, I think all things were OK. So James Cannon is running in fifth position. This is the scrap for fifth with Carl Hazelton just in behind in the... 24 car fifth in race one currently running in sixth place in this one Ben McLaughlin Will Heslop not the not as big a gap as we had when the safety car came out Ben hasn't had the time maybe to build that up much further at the minute as we return to this fine battle for fifth place and it's James Cannon still there at the moment and Cannon side by side Carl Hazelton looks on the inside run coming down into Redgate and he's going to take fifth position Hazelton back up into fifth got a little bit of dust being kicked up by the car in front which is Ashley White so Ashley goes through these two still side by side this is fine racing in any formula and once again it's James Cannon on the inside line in the 80 car in fifth position, even if he gets passed by Carl Hazelton, it will be a best result for him, uh, by my books anyway. Seventh place at Brands Hatch Grand Prix last year. And as I've said before, this is exactly what the drivers are looking to do, is to improve their times, improve their positions and learn their racecraft. And we're certainly seeing it with these two drivers in fifth and sixth position at the moment. Carl Hazelton. I don't think we'll be too upset having to take away a, a career best fifth and a sixth position from this meeting. 55 car, the Welshman, Scott Adams in 10th position here. So 14th in race one, 10th position in this one. We have had a, a couple of uh, retirees, Mark Duncan and Ollie Coles both out of the race. John Tordoff there at the moment up ahead of the 46 car of I think from the 49 car of Stephen Shaw. Stephen having a good run here as well. So uh, then it's the number six of Mike Thompson and 22 Mark McCulloch. Ben McLaughlin now starting to edge the gap out over William Heslop. McLaughlin still with the fastest lap, fastest lap of the race, back on lap 12 this time. And it's a 120.889, 77.27 miles per hour. Will Heslop's best lap, a 121.6. Matt Bird in the 121s as well, so only those two drivers in the 121s at the moment. Benedict McLaughlin, as we heard, in the 120s. So McLaughlin through. Will Haslop in second place. He's here in the pink pink. And will annex second position in the championship to Ben McLaughlin, who is on his last lap, as now is the second place man, William Heslop. McLaughlin through Redgate for the final time and heading down into Hollywood now, down into the Craner curves. It's been a good run for Scott Adams, so he's going to pick up some useful points in the Porsche Centre Cardiff machine. Meanwhile, battling hard here. John Tordoff passed by Mike Thompson. Mark McCulloch's in the mix as well. Matt Bird trying to 
get the lap back on, on those two. And he looks on the inside of the exit of the chicane. It turns into the outside as they go along the straight. So a three-car battle here. And what a great battle it is. Tored off now to the outside line, trying to hunt down on McCulloch, who spins, gyrates. Thankfully, nobody collects him. But McCulloch will, will drop down to 11th, I think, position. Heslop still chasing. So Benedict McLaughlin out front. Sure, he won't mind me using his full name. But uh, William Heslop second. The gap is now out to just under five seconds between first and second. And Ben McLaughlin coming down the straight will look in his mirrors and know that even with the experienced ballast that he's carrying in the 86 car, is going to take the win. The Porsche Centre Bournemouth machine heading the Porsche Centre Wolverhampton car of William Heslop who takes another podium but it's a win for Ben McLaughlin here's William Heslop in second place third position he's going to go to Alistair Nelson in red going out of shot then it is Ashley White a superb fourth on his debut weekend then James Cannon in fifth place in the 80 car career best for James Cannon in fifth position then Carl Hazelton bags sixth place so just one place shy of his finish in race one as the cars come down into pit lane confirmation of the result Ben McLaughlin from William Heslop and Alistair Nelson Ashley White fourth from James Cannon and Carl Hazelton Stephen Shaw in seventh from Mike Thompson and John Tordoff Scott Adams completes the top ten beating home Mark McCulloch and Matt Bird fastest lap in the race goes to Ben McLaughlin the perfect day really here at Donington Park two pole positions two race victories two fastest laps sort of uh, not a bad day's work yeah, it's been good, hasn't it? It's been, I couldn't ask for more. Uh, the sun has, uh, the sun? The sun has shone on all of us, and uh, we've had a great weekend. They, we had a few problems, as I was saying, in the last race, and the boys have worked quite hard. We had a leaky caliper, and we changed the setup, and the car was better in that race. So, really pleased. Safety car as well. The hardest thing was the sun. It was getting lower and lower, and I was having to push myself up in the seat. <laughs> but, um, no, it's gone really well, so it couldn't, couldn't be uh, more thrilled, really. Yeah, no, really good. Oh, Will Heslop, it's been a, a long and hot day here at Donington Park, but two second place finishes. You can't really grumble that can you? I can't really grumble at that, not at all. Uh, everything's gone as it should do and they've got two cracking starts off the line which obviously helps um, and yeah really enjoyed it all today. Just had a word with Ben and he reckons you're going to be a, a serious challenger as the season goes on, what do you reckon to that? Maybe if they even it up a bit and give him a bit more weight, yeah no he's he's a good driver, he's consistent, it's, you can do a fast lap the same lap as him but he does it lap after lap after lap and that comes with experience and hopefully the more I do and the more I get in the car, then the more it'll prove my driving style to keep me so I'm in contention of a, maybe a win against him. So. Well, Alistair, congratulations. Third place finish here in the second race at Donington from sixth on the grid as well. I think you had one of the more lively races out there, didn't you? Certainly did. Yeah, it, uh, we had a bit, of, um, a bit of a battling going on in the first sort of section of the race before the safety car came out. And then after the safety car had gone back in, we had to get our head down. Unfortunate for someone who'd spun out, but we managed to capitalise on that. And the, uh, the Porsche Centre Windblow car came home in the third place. Happy days. It's not been a terrible day, actually, has it? Fourth place in the first race and on the podium in race two as well. Everything go to plan? Uh, it's a good start to the season, yeah. You know, your first time out on the new suspension, new setup. It's all new to us all. Our race technician, Sam's done a great job setting the car up. Got to thank him. You know, it's brilliant stuff. I couldn't ask any more out of the car. It's all got to come from me now. <laughs> The man we heard from, Alistair Nelson, is third in the standings in the Porsche Centre Wilmslow machine. Ben McLaughlin for Bournemouth is top of the table. The Wolverhampton man, William Heslop, is second in the championship ahead of Carl Hazelton in the Chester machine. So, a double race victory here at Donington Park for Ben McLaughlin, but Will Heslop pushing him hard all the way in both races. Certainly, Ben thinks that Will's going to be a thorn in his side this year. And I tend to agree with him as well. Some of the fighting through the midfield was equally entertaining though and we expect nothing different next time out. So be sure to join us to see who comes out on top.